What's up? I'm here to show you guys my new PT Fastback. Uh, this is the new model, the 2020 model. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really excited about this guitar. I've, I've been uh, pumped to get this ever since I heard about the uh, announcement that they were bringing it back. Um, took about two months to get it from uh, Sweetwater for whatever reason. Uh, I'm not going to bitch about that. I mean, Sweetwater's always been good to me. And my, uh, my guy's always been good to me. Um, you know, through all the COVID stuff, and I'm sure there's a good reason why. So I owned the older model of this guitar a couple of years ago. It was the one with the Dungan Design Filtertron pickup. I think it was the FG 101, and it had a, a Schecter a neck pickup, and uh, and that neck pickup, you know, back in the day was awesome. Um, but I sold that guitar because um, I wasn't really a fan of the Filtertron pickup that was on there, and um, and the guitar was just so clunky. With a new design, this guitar is absolutely awesome, and I want to show you guys a little details about that. The pickups on here are two Filtertron-ish pickups that uh, Schechter makes. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't really a fan of the Filtertron in the original model. Uh, it just I didn't feel it was loud enough. It wasn't gainy enough. Um, I saw somewhere another dude has a video of this this guitar. Um, I forget his name, but Schechter sent him the guitar to review, I guess. And uh, he opened it up and you know, he, he did the whole nine to the, I'm not gonna do that with this guitar. But uh, I did notice that the, uh, the pickup was a little bit uh, low gain and he found that it was at around 4K. Uh, and it just didn't have the same punch and volume that most of my other guitars had. And I, I love dual humbucker pickups. And I just didn't, it just kind of fell short. You know, it, it was less gain and a little bit less volume. But the neck pickup uh, on the older model was awesome. It was it was full. It was loud. You know, I really had, got some really good good tones out of it. Um, just like the other guitar, this is a uh, you know again the coil tap. Uh, it's really tight right now. I've, actually, the, the knob popped off uh, when I was when I was switching. That's something I wish um, you know was was improved upon a little bit more. Maybe just put a grip on this or something like that. I mean, I can do that myself. But yeah, pulling this. Yeah, I just did it now. So you know. That part I'm not a fan of, and it's just going to get looser. Yeah, I can't even. Yeah, I can't. I can't pull it. You know, pull it now. So uh, that's that's kind of a design thing. I think that should be improved upon a little bit. But um, with a dual Filtertron, um, both pickups sound closer to each other. Whereas the older model, the neck pickup was was much louder and much fuller than than the, than the bridge pickup. So now they're a little bit closer in uh, in volume and in gain. Um, I'm not really gonna play that much because I know it's not. Uh, I just don't feel like it. But this is the uh, the bridge pickup. Neck. Difference in in, uh, in tone, of course, but volume wise, they're, they're pretty close. Where it was really um, imbalanced before. Um, that's really all I'm going to say about the electronics. Um, you know, they're they're fine. Um, I'm still not really a fan of the Filtertron. Um, you know, I, I figure my my band and my music has has, uh, has evolved since the last time I played this guitar, so I figured it'd be a nice way to fit in. You know, it's a good time to fit in a new pickup configuration. I did want to. Uh, I did have some recording projects. Um, you know over the summer um, that I was hoping to use this guitar for, but again, it took two months to get it, so I wasn't able to use it. But, you know, it was, it's, it's cool. I mean, I'm, I'm into it. You know, it. It's just a matter of how I'm gonna fit it into a live setting um, with my other guitars. So that's the part that you know, I gotta worry about a little bit. When you look at it, it looks very similar to the original, or the, I don't know if it's the original, but you know, the older model PT Fastbacks, right? With the exception of the pickups, uh, it looks a lot alike. Uh, it has a black binding on the neck now. You can see it's right here on both sides. It's got a black nut now. Uh, my model had a white one. I don't remember if I had Grover tuners on my other one, however. Uh, but these are Grover tuners. I think these are the mini, mini tuners. So just from the front, it looks a lot alike, right? But where it's different, and this is the part that's killer, is that the original PT was just a slab of wood. It was just literally like it was thick. It was heavy, um, very bulky when you uh, you put your arm on it. It was a really substantial, heavy guitar. Um, it was just an uncomfortable guitar to play because of how how fat the body was. The neck is is amazing. It's the same neck. It's a, the slim C profile that um, that Schecter has, and I, I love it. This is like this is a perfect neck for me. And um, so you know the the body uh, is where the most improvement comes in, which is awesome. 
Okay, first off, I feel it's a little thinner. Now, I don't have the other guitar anymore, so I can't really do a side-by-side -side comparison. But I do have a picture of this dork playing the old guitar. And uh, you can tell that it has a back binding as well. So the body is a little bit thicker, I think. I just, I don't fully remember, but I'm pretty sure. Let's go with thicker in the old model. And the really awesome part is that now there's an armrest here. It's curved out, right? It's cut out like, like a lot of other guitars are. Whereas the original PT or the one I had before what, did not have this. So your arm was like, you're getting marks on your arm from, from uh, uh, resting it, right? Then you also have a belly cut, which is killer. That's a deep cut, right? And you know, I, I got a bit of a belly, so <laughs> this, helps, this helps a lot. All right, and one of the coolest things is the heel, right? In the old model, there was a plate back here. It said, you know, Diamond Series, whatever. Uh, but this time around, you know, it's still four bolts, right? But it has this really nice little contoured cutaway here, all right? And a really nice deep cutaway here as well. So the, the shape of the guitar itself, particularly the back, it's really strange. It's not even something that you notice, you know, at all unless you play it. Um, this is the hugest improvement of this guitar, and I absolutely love it. It's one of the things that really got me excited about buying this guitar again, right? Um, is because, again, my, my biggest complaint with the other guitars is that it was uncomfortable. So all these improvements just really has <laughs> reversed all that for me, and now this guitar feels awesome. Okay, I'm still working on the tone a little bit. Um, I don't want to have to change settings when I, uh, if I have to switch guitars. You know, I, I want the, the guitar to speak for itself. I just want to switch guitars and then have the tone um, difference you know, happen just because it's a different guitar. I don't want to have to, you know, go much deeper than that. Um, but yeah, so this guitar, you know, really cool, really good improvements on it. Um, I wish the pickup configuration was a little different. These are, you know, because there's a Filtertron style, I, they are a little bit smaller. And when the other guy uh, took the guitar apart in the other video I was mentioning, I'll try and link him. Um, the inside cavity, there's there's small uh, small cavities in there as well. So you can't put in a full size pickup um, in the cavity, but you also can't do it because the you have to route out the uh, pick guard itself. All right, so I'm not sure if mini humbuckers would fit on here. I have to, I have to uh, message Schechter and ask them. Um, you know, if if I wanted to do a pickup upgrade or a pickup swap, uh, I would likely swap the bridge pickup. But the, the neck pickup is fine. I, I can I can definitely work with that. Um, but you know, when I compare it to my other guitars, like I have a Washburn Idol um, with, you know, with PRS pickups on it from a CE24, you know, there's a huge difference. You know, maybe not so much in volume. There's probably like a two decibel difference in volume um, when I measured it. But um, you know, the, the gain just definitely sounds different. All right. Uh, but yeah, otherwise this guitar really well made. This neck is is, is beautiful. It was set up really nice uh, by Schechter. I love the string height. It's it's the right height for me. Um, I don't know what the specs are for for that. Uh, then went through uh, Sweetwater's fifty five point inspection. Whatever they did was awesome too. Right. So yeah, so PT Fastback. You know, I'm really happy to have this guitar back in my uh, collection again. <laughs> One other difference is that this is an Indonesian-made guitar, whereas the original one, or the one I had earlier, uh, was a South Korean model. And so far, this is put together really well. Um, I mean, it's a nice satin neck in the back. It has a gloss fingerboard. Some people complain about that. I, honestly, I can't tell the difference. I can't tell it you know, at all. I can tell the difference with, with the neck, but never really fingerboard. Um, one interesting thing that they didn't change, and I guess it's a good thing just to keep consistent, um, most block inlay guitars usually have a block on the first fret, and I, and I love that. I'm a sucker for, for block inlays. Um, I have a Joe Pass Emperor that has a block inlay here. One of my Washburns has a block inlay in the first fret as well. So it, it makes it a little unique. It's sort of like Schechter's stamp on like, we'll make it as classic as possible, but and make it, uh, you know, make it our own thing by, by taking this off. Um, yeah, but I love the aesthetic of it. You know, the whole, the whole thing, I haven't taken off the plastic, so this looks a little bit uh, faded to the, the plastic covering is still on the pickguard. Okay, I need some time to sit with it to make sure it's something I'm really gonna, really gonna keep. Um, because I do have other, my eyes on other guitars by Schechter, I wanna definitely try out. All right, but so far this guitar is, is doing great. Like, I, I love it, I love playing it. it feels good, it sounds good. Um, it's, it's just gonna take some time for my ear to get used to it. And I'm running it through um, the Tremonti MT-15 uh, just nothing in between. It's just I'm going right to the front, and um, you know I usually play with a helix. So, 
So, you know, once I have to hear what this sounds like through the Helix, you know, for my live shows. Because again, my live shows are the most important uh, thing for me to get good tone in. Um, recording wise, I mean, there's there's so many ways around that. I mean, there's so many plugins now. You know, there's there's ways around tone um, in a controlled setting. But for me, live is the most important thing. And, and obviously we can't play live these days. So, um, you know, I have to see, I have to make sure that if I keep this guitar, it's gonna be uh, a guitar I can really use in my collection, but. <laughs> so far. So definitely check it out. It's the new uh, Schecter 2020 PT Fastback.